breathtaking landscapes, unfathomable mysteries. Nature thrills our hearts and calls us to adventure. Earth is a precious miracle, billions of years in the making. Now, the natural world is under threat. Wild and beautiful places are disappearing fast. 16 million hectares of natural forest destroyed every year. One third of all coral threatened with extinction. Glaciers melting, sea levels rising. This isn't a movie, this is real. It's time to step forward and find out what's happening. It's time to listen to the adventurers on the front lines. We search the globe for these behind the scenes eco heroes passionate about protecting the planet and securing a sustainable future. What drives them to save the beyond? We travel to Indonesia, the home of our eco hero, Abam Sianipar, a marine biologist specializing in the study and protection of sharks and manta rays. He has developed revolutionary ways to tag and track whale sharks and manta rays, seeking ways to create sustainable conservation programs that include the needs of the local populations as well as marine life. What drives him to save the beyond? Raja Ampat has been dubbed as the global epicenter of marine biodiversity, and it has the most number of reef fish species and coral reef species in anywhere recorded in the world. When I started working here, I started working for the manta rays, for the sharks, and for the marine life, the coral reef and everything. But, you know, coming over towards these years, and uh, when I come back home, actually, I just realized the thing that I make me always have that energy to come back to work in Raja Ampat is, it's more to the people because I see the people in Raja Ampat is one of those people that are still very much relying on their nature. And uh, I take it as my duties as an Indonesian to do my part to, to maintain that, to help reverse the, or stop the process of global warming or climate change in this area. So the communities around here could thrive from the conservation and also tourism from manta rays and, and could have a, a good sustainable livelihoods within them. It is absolutely fantastic to see one single species could actually bring on that much of benefits economically to the communities. And we do now see that the seas actually are our bridge between our islands, not the separators between our islands. Still, there's much that needs to be known from them. So 2013, back in the days when we helped the Indonesian government to to put some protection regulation towards manta rays in Indonesia. At the time, we started a, a satellite tagging program, and by that, we, we have now kind of like a, a general understanding about Indonesian manta rays, and we see that they're very well, you know, kind of like localized in these certain areas, where they get enough food, and you know, they get enough protection as well, not, not being hunted and everything. When we work with these communities that you know hope to get sustainable livelihood from manta ray tourism, they can rely on that. So, if we wanted to protect the manta rays, we also have to protect its habitat, and that's why I think we're really happy in Raja Ambat that we have you know to work together with the communities and the government to put together marine protected areas or marine parks. So, yeah. Sometimes when we're looking at the news too much nowadays, you got to see all of these negativities in the world and in Indonesia, and looking at the climate change, how rapidly it moves and just make you feel hopeless sometimes. But you know, whenever I come up to this place, to Raja Ampat, especially to Wayag, the crown jewel of Raja Ampat, coming up here always brings something special to me. You know, this is kind of like makes us remember again why we do our work in the first place but also kind of like another reminder for us, there's so much thing to do. We just have to like push hard to, to hopefully keep this place as beautiful as it is. And I'm hopeful that is somewhere in the future, my, my son could come here and then enjoy this nature, at least in the same kind of quality that I had throughout my life, basically. We continue our search of the globe for eco heroes, shedding light on their vital work inspiring each and every one of us to become heroes too. Together, we have the power to save the beyond.